Hey everyone, this is Heather with the Everyday Escape Travel Agency. Join us on our journey as I showcase the beautiful Sandals Grand Antigua. <laughs> we traveled to Antigua staying five nights over Christmas in December of 2020. This resort has around 370 rooms across two villages, the Mediterranean and the Caribbean village. We start off our tour in the Mediterranean village. This is the newer of the two villages at this resort. Around the main pool here, on the Mediterranean side, there are several large cabanas that are for rent. The cabana is all yours for the day and includes continual beverage and food service delivered straight to you. These cabanas are perfect if you'd like to have a private area to yourself. This is the main pool in the Mediterranean village. There is a swim up bar at the base of the large sandals tower shown here. In the center is the hot tub. Masks are not required for guests on the property outside of enclosed areas. So to keep safe, there is plenty of social distancing protocols in place. Chairs are paired together but kept six feet apart from others. Near the beach on the left side is Barefoot by the Sea restaurant. We dined there for lunch and dinner and had really good seafood meals each time. It's nice as it's located next to the beach. And up here on the far right, you'll see a large beachside wedding gazebo. This is perfect for beachside weddings and Bowery Noodles too. Here is the beach on the resort, and like all of the beaches in Antigua, it is a public one. One thing we loved about the location of the resort is that it's situated on beautiful Dickinson Bay. If the beachside wedding spot isn't for you, located here in the Caribbean village is a garden gazebo that is perfect for a quiet, intimate ceremony as well. The grounds have various sporting areas including beach volleyball, a large chess board, and other various activities. And when you walk around the resort property, you'll meet a few furry friends like these guys. They were hanging out and even enjoying the hammock. Here we are at the main Caribbean village pool, which has a small lazy river, a swim up bar, and also a hot tub as well. This pool is smaller and quieter than the Mediterranean village pool, where music and activities are often showcased.
Here is beautiful St. Mark's Square. You'll find the resort shops as well as the photo shop, Cafe de Paris, and a couple other restaurants. This was one of our favorite places to sit and relax. The atmosphere is quiet and really beautiful at night. Here is our room, which again is located on the sixth floor of the main building in the Mediterranean Village. This category includes a jacuzzi tub, walk-in shower, and his and her sinks. Even has a small balcony with beautiful views. This spot was a favorite for our room service breakfast. Looking for a romantic getaway? The Mediterranean one-bedroom butler villa with private pool sanctuary is perfect. You have a private plunge pool and hot tub just to yourselves, and you can't beat those butler amenities at any Sandals resort. We really recommend this category for your next day. When staying at Sandals, all motorized and non-motorized water sports are included, even scuba if you're certified. Not certified? You can pay to receive your resort certification while staying on property. We took advantage of the Hobie Cats, a snorkeling trip, as well as stand-up paddleboarding. If you love water sports, you enjoy having all of these things included. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell as I'll be sharing more about this beautiful destination, including an island tour and other resort brands. <laughs>